Hello again, everyone. Today we have a bit of a somber show for you. But do you know what's not somber? Our social media. You can check us out. That's a dumb joke. You can check us out on Twitter at DiveCloudCast. And let's get right into it. Welcome to Dive Cloud. Welcome to a very somber, sad episode of Dive Cloud. Aww. Yang Aww. dead. Uh, Yang was super <laughs> Yang. dead. Yang was maybe. Yang, Yang died. Maybe. We'll Yang see. got his brain Yang. scooped out like a computer's van sucking up a carpet. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, Yang, real dead. Oh, by the way, Maybe. bad spoilers if you just started listening to this episode. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Big mistake. Mm. Oh, big mistake. To yeah. all of you that Go clicked back the wrong episode. <laughs> convince yourself you didn't hear any of that. Let's go around and introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Jennifer Collins, and I'm going to be playing Shava the Maxic. I am Weston Lima. I am playing Darius Smoke Brewer. I'm Brandon Korth. I used to play Yang Nei even way. <laughs> Uh, I still do play him, but um, I will be playing a new character that you'll find out at some point. Ooh. And, ooh. and I'm Mike Lima. I'll be playing Whispers at Sunset. Okay. I am Cole Luther. I am a murderer. That is why I'm here. I, I killed someone. And yeah. You're paying for your crimes. <laughs> so... Let's begin. A small fairy flits underneath a bed and a foot presses down as she moves a small amulet. The foot misses and continues onward. Again, the little fairy puts an amulet into a box and the hand reaches in, missing it entirely. The face of Lucius, Shava's brother, visible as the box closes. Finally, the amulet is moved to a pile of treasure and as Lucius passes by, another hand reaches down, taking it, and the fairy makes a worried face. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, oh. Bro, what are you doing? Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, cutscene number one. Mm-hmm. Time for cutscene number two. No. Two cutscenes. It's never oh. happened before. <laughs> oh, my it's God. unprecedented. It's important. The elusive two cutscenes. <laughs> it's literally an entire episode of cutscenes. Why? Why would you do it like that? <laughs> Yang, you find yourself in a void of darkness. You look down and you see your hands and they move, but everything is dark and black. You see something bright, a crescent shape, the crescent moon in front of you, filling up this dark space. And you are floating. You feel nothing around you. You don't feel sick or have any headaches. You feel almost ethereal. The moon is then blotted out by this figure wearing a gigantic hood. And this figure in perspective from you is thousands of feet tall. They reach down and lift up a scythe in the shape of a heart. And then that's that's Hmm. the cutscene. Oh man. (laughs) Whoa. Woo! Interesting. So is it like a thump thump heart or like a Valentine's heart? Um, I have mm. a I have a drawing I did. It's a long Ooh. heart. But it's a long I don't have it on. Is it pleasant? Hmm. Or is it but it's, it's really cool looking. It's yeah. very Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Oh, uh, that's cool. To recap where we were, you got into a fight with a juggler and a... <laughs> it sounds so much worse than it is. <laughs> just some poor street juggler. We just started punching him. <laughs> you got into a fight with a juggler and a fire dancer. Uh, you ended up turning it into a performance and Darius cast the spell magic on the ringleader who turned it into a strange tentacled creature. 
you chased after him, followed closely by Liv, the pink haired girl, as you confronted this monstrosity, you fought it. It grabbed a hold of Yang, killing him almost instantly, sucking out his brain. And Liv revealed herself to be Madame Vitica. And she offered to resurrect him. And I don't know if <laughs> Whispers was making an attack or not, but that's where we are. <laughs> so Madame Vitica is in front of you. She has just shifted from this pink haired girl and is looking down like, tut, 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 poor, poor Yang. Yes, Whispers is definitely just going to rage, continue in his rage, and just shoot straight at this, this we're, woman. We're in initiative then. Mm -hmm. I like, yeah. <laughs> that's initiative. There's 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 no tolerance for Madame Vitica in his life. All right, we're in it. <laughs> Yang got a zero. Oh, Yang <laughs> shot rolling. Weird, weird. Yang, Yang's rolls uh, don't matter. Darius got that one. So sad. Oh. oh. Actually, I have a minus one to my you got a, I got a zero. <laughs> Darius, you are just so distraught. <laughs> Look, we'll get around how distraught you are and how it's holding you back soon. What do you do with net 20? Oh, Woo! Okay. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you are Two crits. Oh, no oh, man. We handled that situation in very different ways. <laughs> Like, I, I, I got a solid three. <laughs> solid three. A solid three. That's pretty bad. I'm going to move my hex. <laughs> Shava seems... Yeah, that makes sense. Keep uh, that hex going. <laughs> mathematically, a zero. I have one and minus one to my initiative. Zero for Darius. Gosh. that's. I don't think I've ever written a zero on an on a <laughs> initiative order before. Oof. And Yang's dead. He's hanging out with whatever he's hanging out with. <laughs> Actually, I probably broke concentration. When you, oh, it's a concent. Yeah. I will have you make a roll to keep concentration in your, um, in your distraught moment. Um, 18. Then, yeah, that's a success. You managed to hold concentration even through the feelings that you were experiencing. So, Whispers. All right. You are whispers raging. Turns from Yang, who he was about to try and fly away to find help from, seeing that the monstrosity that lived became one of his arch nemesis and monstrosities in the form of Madame Vitica, just goes berserk and tears into her. Okay. And so his first attack is, is an 18. Battle hit. The oh. second attack is. She's a, going to shield. Okay. All right, so. The first attack skips off of that, and he's going to spin around. That's actually better for me, um, because the second attack is a nat 20. Ooh, yeah, which, she, and her reactions burn, so. And her reactions burn, um, <laughs> but that means that's the first time I've struck her in this combat, so my radiant holy damage goes off on that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Instead of the first one. Oh, that was, that was a mistake on her part. And the butt swing will right. around and be a 23. So I don't know if that hits, makes it through her shield or not. Shield, um... Her at plus five to race. She's got 20. So AC. 23 will hit. So dang. All right. You just demolished her. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm demolishing yeah, her. Yeah, wow. This is a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. That's so a lot of damage. As Whispers just, he, he sees his first blow glance off and he just gets really angry and he spins his pole arm around and he just takes the claws and he sticks them straight into her throat and just shoves her back against the tent wall, just shrieking. And you just watch all this radiant fire shoot down his pole arm <laughs> oh, and explode in her face. And he is going to do a total of 39 Ooh. points of damage oh, because he follows that up with a butt swing that catches her right across the jaw. For oh my God. That's, to that's total, right? That's total 39. 39. If you need to know, 26 of that is radiant. Okay. Oh. So most of that wow. was the radiant explosion damage. Yeah. Wowza. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at her and he's like, I will end you, fiend. She does look very taken aback that you dealt with that much mm -hmm. damage to her because she shielded the first one and then you just whoosh, dig into her and she blinks a little bit. Ow. <laughs> That hurt whispers. I'm hurt emotionally by <laughs> by your rude actions. <laughs> and it is now her turn. Okay. She holds up two fingers and she points them at Shaba and Whispers. And I need you both to make wisdom saving throws. Mm. 
that's a nine. Okay. Oh, that's a nine. You both hey. fail. You feel this these invisible strings wrap around your pinkies, both of you, and you have been linked. You must now stay within five feet of each other. Oh. Okay. I have to stay within five feet of Shava? Mm-hmm. All right. Bonus action healing word herself. So you watch as some divine energy swirls around her, closing up some of the wounds, but not that much. She is going to stay where she is. Quick question. How yeah. far were Whispers and I apart before this fell took place? You would have been, you are all like right next to each other. Okay. Because the tent's only 10 feet wide. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. And I imagine you're like half in, half out the tent. And then <clears throat> like, so everyone's right next to each other. All right. So that's her turn. Next up is Shava. Mm. I'm going to move my hex onto Madame Vitica. And then I'm going to turn to her in frustration and not even say anything and just hit her with an oh. Eldritch Blast. You can use an Eldritch Beam if you like. Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. The way this mechanic works, and I'll explain this to the to the listeners, the Eldritch Beam is an extension from the amulet that Shava's wearing, and it it does twice as many dies of damage as your Hmm. Eldritch okay. Blast does. So actually, it's, you'll get to use it once per day because I'm, yeah, ungenerous yeah. god. Yeah, because <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't have the mechanics fully figured out. So that's what it is. So two d ten. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's going to be a sixteen. Sixteen to hit. A reaction burn. So yeah. Thirty four. Total 34. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I add my spell attack bonus to that one as well? Um, or is it just added it's once? It's just added once. Okay. Yeah. So, 34. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a oh, lot. Wait. No, you get two beams, but you need to make two attack rolls. Oh, 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 okay. 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 Mm. No, that second one does not hit. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so it's 19. So, 19 damage. Like you see a, a hint of worry in her eyes as she takes this beam. She's surprised by the amount of force behind it. She sidesteps away from it a bit, but it sort of evaporates her skin. Ooh, is the way nice. it works. Imagine those little like little black particles like flecking off. Okay, so Shava, um, Darius. All right. Also, I do actually have two third level spell slots, but I can't use Revivify anyways because body parts and thing. So I can't bring his brain back. So Yang is dead, dead. For sure. So I'm going to bestow curse on her. Okay. Can you review and I'll use the only one that's good? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am going to do bestow curse. Um, so she must do a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I like that. Yes. Um, it's very bad. Awesome. So yeah, she gets like an eight. So. Okay. Well, Chris, she must make a wisdom saving throughout the start of each turn. If it fails, she doesn't do anything. Nice. That's really And um, then with my bonus action, I'm going to spiritual weapon her. Okay. Wow. What is your spiritual weapon? Is it a hammer? It's a wrench. Oh, yeah. um, that's a 19. 19 will hit. Awesome. Ooh. 10 points of force damage. Okay. You guys are eating into her house that is good quite badly. <laughs> um, okay. Next up is Whispers. Uh, Whispers is gonna. So I have to. I with it. I have to stay within five feet of Shop. Shop. Yeah. But like uh, my movement inside of that five feet isn't impeded. No. Okay. Cool. So I will make. I will just continue to make three attack rolls. I'll come up off the ground a little bit and just kind of just get right in her face and just have my wings like beating in her face as I continue to pound on her. Um, she looks at you right as you're doing this. If you kill me, Yang is dead forever. I would not let you touch his body while I draw breath and I will pound on her with... First one I'm thinking is going to miss with a 14. Or does that hit her? Um, 14 will not hit. Okay, second one is going to be a 19. That will hit. And then a 24 will hit after yes. that. So. Does she still have a missing eye? Um, like, does, does she just have an empty eye socket? You would see that there's an eye there, but it's probably not. But yeah, it's hard to tell. Okay. There's an eye there. Okay. 
Okay, so the first swing is going to come down like right on top of her head. Right, I want to rake my pole arm right across her face. I'm going to hit her for 14 points of damage. Then the radiant fire is going to go off again for another five. She's going to, um, on one of your attacks, whichever one was first, use a legendary action to have you reroll. Okay, I will reroll that then. And the reroll is an 18. Okay, well, it's the hit. Okay, so it was total between the fire and the pole arm swing that is going to be a total of 18 damage and then I'm going to follow up and butt swing her right in the throat and you really hate her throat oh I hate this woman mm-hmm. for another five okay. specifically the throat though and I'm going to rip out your another, voice box so there was what <laughs> there was nine and then seven for damage yeah 18 and then five 18 and then five okay yeah she looks at Darius mm-hmm Make a saving throw oh, with disadvantage. Uh, what kind? She has to make a saving throw on her turn and she does. Oh, thing this yes. round. You're right. Huh. You're We're right. just going to all hold hands because our pinkies are connected. So does that <laughs> impede just an action or also movement? It is all of her turn. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And that's third level? Mm-hmm. Gonna use, that's insane. She's going to use a le- legendary action to reroll. Uh, and so it's a wisdom. Mm-hmm. 16. Uh, that's gonna work. Ooh. She rolled two in the first <laughs> Oh, <one>. oh man. <laughs> Those legendary actions. Okay. You only get three though, right? We made her use two. But I've, I have I have oh, messed okay. with the rules before, so you're not sure. Okay. Um, rules is written, they usually get three legendary saves and then their actions vary depending on oh. the creature. Mm. Darius, okay. make saving throw. Uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. All right. I'm actually, play. no, this is a charisma, actually. Oh, I'm decent at that. That's bad. That's an eight. Eight? <laughs> you feel compelled to attack your... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! And as soon as you get around to your turn, you're going to feel the compulsion to drop the, the curse. Great. So you are completely under her control. Great. So you take your full actions to kill your teammates as best you can. All right. <laughs> I'm like that. I gotta do it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, it's last on the initiative. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. actually it fairly good. Killer, quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seeing this opportunity, Shava, in order to cast your range spell, that means you're not right next to her. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. What does she is what she's doing to Shava and I concentration? Because she, she would have to make concentration checks to keep that spell up. No, there. that's not okay. concentration. That's, that's all I was checking. I that, yeah, that right. is that is just an ability cool. that she has. You can um, go round two with the eyeballs. She oh. is going to move out of your range because, yeah, Shava would have been ranged. So that means she's not right next to her because she used an Eldritch Blast. But I would have been. But you are within range, so you get an attack of opportunity. Unless you've used your reaction. I have not. Okay. So I will hit her with a 19. Okay. And that, She's gonna have you reroll that. She's gonna spend a third. Legendary. 15? 15 will hit. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, although she does have her regular reaction now that her turn's rolled around again. Yep. So she's gonna shield okay. to 20. Can... No, because I, I should have, I, I would have had to say right away. Because I could attack recklessly. And then negate that, but for, that, that's, that's right. something you announce. Right? Yep, it is. Yeah, I'd have to say I was doing it this round. She has shielded. She has moved away thirty feet. So she runs out of the tent. She was outside the tent anyway. So you guys are like oh, half in, in half doorway. out. Yeah. She was in the doorway, and now she has trotted away thirty feet. Am I so following her, or am I still just trying to kill her? Your else? your goal is just to take out. Okay. Her. You see them as like, oh, you killed Yang. Oh, and like right now. Okay. Shava. Are we going? We're going. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run out to the opening of the tent. I'm not going to completely go out. So one of you will have to like hold movement to move with the other. Because mm-hmm. like you can't. I wouldn't get my movement on my turn then. Is yeah. That, you yeah, have to move. Fine. You have to move together and you didn't take any movement. So that's fine. Okay. All right. But yeah, you don't get your fly speed because you can't fly. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that you'd want to go all in, so I'm going to go all in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as we're running towards her, I'm going to cast Chill Touch and grab her wrist. And kind of like, you're not leaving yet. And 
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, that's going to be twelve. To twelve hit. will not. That does not hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you try to grab onto her, and she's like, ah, 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 nope. <laughs> and she just moves off to the side. I'm assuming we're pretty close to her now, though, because my movement's thirty feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as you move towards her, you go to reach out. She moves out of the way and sort of whispers quietly to you, don't you want Yang to live? Not like this. Darius, it's your turn. Go well, ahead. <laughs> do it, buddy. It's I am going to cast Guiding Bolt as a second level spell slot at um, Whispers, and that's a 17. That's going to miss me. All right. Really? Yeah, Good. 18. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Not by much. Right. Well, I did want to kill you. Uh, well, <laughs> bonus level action. He's going to cast for the last spell slot, second level spell slot, yes, he's going to cast um, Spiritual Weapon on him as a, a big wrench to cut You don't him. have to keep casting it. You have Yeah, you just, like, move it. Yeah. Dang. Well, then, Fun. yeah, yeah you could only out. move it 20 mm. feet, so you couldn't get it to me, so... Okay. You could recast it yep. near on him if you were, like... Well, if that's gonna, what's going to work, like, Darius would be focused on, on Whispers right now, yeah. anyway. Okay, so Absolutely. Then, yeah, he's going to do that. That'll miss him, too. Yes. Wow. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Darius... Your well, your best skill coming out <laughs> <laughs> when it's needed most. It finally does good. <laughs> All right, so <coughs> Darius, the future and whispers. All right, seeing that she's blocked a lot of my stuff, he's going to go absolutely reckless, and so I will hit with all three of my attacks. All right. So whispers, he's he's just kind of dragging Shava along with him, like physically, and he just comes through. And he and I, can I do the trip attack on that first one just for flavor? <laughs> sure. Sweet. That's a thing you have, right? It is. Is it trip just a trip attack? Yep. I, I can I can knock a uh, target prone. But they have to make a saving. Throw. They do get a saving throw. They get a dexterity saving throw yeah. against it. If you want to do that, I still have to still have to roll. Yes. What's the DC on that? It is my dexterity. Uh, it's twelve, um, so it's not real high. She fails. <laughs> nice. I had advantage on her anyways because I was going reckless, but oh, I just so think it it's fun to knock her so to the ground. So it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, so Whispers just comes forward and he swoops Whoops. his first attack under her legs and just rakes it through as the radiant fire goes off and I knock her to the ground and it's going to do a total of 17 damage. And I'm going to come around with my second stab and I'm just going to come back with the claws and straight at her face. So I whack her in the face. And the okay. butt swing will be... Nine. That's max damage on that. Ooh, nice. She is looking very, very bad. <laughs> I'm going to burn both of your eyes this time. I hope you do someday. You seem so determined. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to bid you farewell. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> she casts a spell and vanishes. I've never wanted counter spell so bad. <laughs> <Yeah. all right. laughs> Even if Darius had I it, which I don't think I would, he can. No, not yet. I I wouldn't use it. Yeah, because yeah, I'm just charmed. Am I still charmed? As she disappears, your charm fades. Okay. Darius is gonna start to cry. Oh, <laughs> are we still linked? Um, that uh, lasted like a uh, a minute. Oh, okay. And then it. The, you watch the string that is almost invisible, like, and disappear. Okay. Whispers would take flight and go up about 60 feet in the air and just start screaming. <laughs> wow. And, I will find you. I will end you. And he's just gone. He's screaming his head off. Okay. You go into the sky and scream <laughs> your, your little bird heart out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I would have immediately run over to, to Darius probably would have like not sure what to do probably would have tried to comfort him Darius would he would just be just sobbing I couldn't do it I've never been able to do anything when it counts the most and now he's gone and that wretched bitch stole me and I almost took you out with it and then he just wouldn't say anything for the rest of the time okay uh Shabu would turn back I mean, look, we're we're fine. What happened to Yang isn't your fault. It was a very, very tragic accident. And trust me, I'll miss him more than anyone. He mm-hmm. he was my best friend. But we we should take care of him properly. 
We can't. We can't just leave him here. Agreed. And Shavo will probably turn him over onto his back, and for the moment, like take out one of the cloths that she has for making dresses for Nyx, and she'd kind of just like tie it over the portion of his head that was injured in the fight, so it just kind of looks like he's wearing a hat, kind of askew instead. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Can you make a religion check for me? Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 19. 19? You just feel this overwhelming comfort and love come from your amulet. And then quickly it's sort of silenced. It like comes in and then just that sickening wave overshadows it. Okay. I would keep that to myself. <laughs> Bird screams. <laughs> bird screams. Yeah. Bird, bird screams everywhere. 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 In, in like he's in his madness, he's still like flying around looking for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not mm-hmm. gonna find I know. Her. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably start looking for ways to just maybe like make a stretcher or something for Yang that we could carry him properly. Mm-hmm. So the performance is kind of ended. People start flooding out from the tent. None the wiser as to what, what is happening out here. Though some of the circus folks seem concerned and start moving over your way. I, I think I would go up to them. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little bit of a situation over here. We would prefer if you would steer clear. Please make head a, back to your camps for the night. Make a persuasion check. Ooh, rolling good on these persuasions today. That's going to be a 22. What what situation? I mean, these are, are the tents we sleep in. The... Person who was in charge of your camp was a monster. Uh, we lost one of our own, and we're trying to do damage control. They seem to, yeah. Your persuasion check. They believe you. And what? What can we do? We we were planning on giving him a proper burial and just getting him out of here. And you guys are gonna have to find a new ringleader. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, if you'd be willing to help us get him back into Aether. That'd be great. They nod, and they start actually building a sort of canvas stretcher with you. They've got all the canvas and the supplies they need to do that. In fact, they have their own stretcher for if someone's injured in the performances. So, yeah. They bring that out for you. Whispers, when you can't find her, how long does it take for you to... Not After I see people starting to finally come out of the performance... I would realize that my behavior is probably going to attract an enormous amount of attention. So I'll quiet down and I'll fly back to check on the others. And once I see they're okay, without saying anything to them, I would just go in and remove the head of the monster. So I'd just lop it off and throw it in a bag. You just hack the head off and throw Mm -hmm. it in a bag. There is the ruin tent nearby. We we made a promise to Iso. I was like, yeah, let's... Let's get it over with. I have no desire to go into that place right now. Screw ISO. Isn't that the vernacular you use? You've never said something that made so much sense to me. We can come back later. Yeah. Yeah. Can we make arrangements with the circus folk to come back later? And Yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to abandon our mission from ISO for the time right. being and come back and take care of it. Yeah. yeah. He rolled a good persuasion earlier. They said, yeah, you can come back if you need to. I and then should probably explain the whole thing to them. And yeah. Yeah. Did, while they, they're helping us. Shava already did explain the monster thing. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I can explain in detail while we're walking back with yeah. them, though. Because yeah. they should yeah. know that there was a transforming entity that was eating brains of people. Mm-hmm. Like, Living in their camp. Yeah, they should probably be aware of that. Probably. Were there, in conversation, was there anybody else who'd gone missing recently from their camp? Oh, oh yeah. Once I you was, start talking about this, people say, yeah, like, people who were visiting the circus would go missing sometimes. And it was happening more and more frequently. And it started, like, around the time that he showed up. Yeah. So, um, people start putting the pieces together and rumors just start spreading like wildfire. Sure. And so where are you all off to now? And how are you going about it? I think we we could take him to the forest. Why don't we find the most balanced place we can? We're not going to put him in a bakery with sticky buns. <laughs> we, 
<laughs> his dying, his dying <laughs> breath was burying in sticky parts. <laughs> burying in sticky parts. <laughs> you hear in your heads. <laughs> um, we could. That could be an element of it. I mean, I was maybe one like tasteful it, sticky. Part. Yeah. Can I make? Can I spend an hour to make the most delicate looking? metal like trophy of a sticky bun that i can with artisan's blessing yeah it doesn't it just takes you your regular one you're gonna make a metal sticky bun i'm gonna make like like a trophy of a sticky bun like the the best sticky bun that has ever existed like it is perfect it even though it is metallic it looks like you could eat it okay you you want to eat it yeah um i'm also going to grab his staff Mm -hmm. okay you pick up his wooden staff it's got all sorts of intricate druidic carvings across it and it has the name of his father that i can't remember carved in on the side no it's cool let's go and wherever the the best looking tree is in the forest okay so you're going into the midwood to look for a Mm -hmm. tree to bury him underneath it is night Hmm. yeah i can find this one pretty easily i will find a suitable place yeah. And I'll take off and fly through the edges of the midwood to find a, a good yang-looking tree. Yeah. And While he's doing that, that's when I would take the time to make the sticky bun, <clears throat> probably. Um, I'd probably also go with whispers and use minor illusion to give us some light and just like hold torches so you can search a little. Well, I wouldn't need. I have dark vision as oh, an owl. Never mind. <laughs> but I, you, you be. I'd be more than happy to have you accompany me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Whispers, you find a pretty decent tree that's larger than the others and has a really nice open area that a grave could go with. And you guys, I just want to clarify, you're not trying to seek out a way to get him resurrected. No. Okay. Because, yeah, there are leads you could follow any through that might, that might pan out, but I'm not trying to influence you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we've... And Brandon included all kind of committed to this course. Okay. Yeah. Unless he said something to you that. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's not off the table. I mean, we could still, honestly, I could do that while you're looking for trees. Do we and want it could to? be at that high of a level. I mean, oftentimes you don't need the body. You just need like a piece of. Actually, we wouldn't. You just need a part of them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a more of just a tall tale you've heard is that you need hair or a tooth or a bone. You want to? Yeah. I mean, I have a staff. Mm -hmm. It's probably covered in sticky bun and hair and stuff that's all been mashed. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's covered in mashed hair, sticky buns. Yeah. You know, you get sticky buns, the staff gets sticky, and then now he's an apeling, so hair sticks to it. We've got enough (laughs) DNA. Yeah. He might be part sticky bun. Hmm. Would we want to take this course of action, though, or? I don't know. It's worth know. investigating, I yeah. guess. Hmm. I don't know either. You could just take a tuft of hair. Well, whispers. I'll get. I'll get to this before we split up. Then we're talking about what we're doing. Is when my people pass, we remove the heart and powder it, and I will fly as high as I can and spread it on the winds. I could keep some of that. As an option for mm. resurrection. I would like to say farewell to him in the accordance of my people. You know, we might be able to ask him himself, because I do know how uh, to speak to the dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brendan is no longer present. I know. I mean, we could do this at I, a different I'd, time. We I'd could, speak like, as Yang. I, yeah. I can do that. I'd need to do a long rest to get my spell slots back, but it is a possibility that I can do that. Yeah. Um, this would go against a lot of things that Chava feels are comfortable, so she mm-hmm. would not want to be anywhere near you when she, you do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Darius would be okay with it. He would want to apologize to Yang anyways. Mm-hmm. That would be on his mind that he would he would want to get a lot of things off his chest. And you want to ask if he wants to be laid to rest or if he wants another chance. Okay. So when you get your spell slots back. I was like, when I get my spell slots back. I was like, we could could bury him for now. 
Are you going to cut his heart out? I would like to. <laughs> it's, it's not a survival a, test. It's very... Very... <laughs> 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 I'm actually super good at those, so I'm not too worried about this. <laughs> but that is only a seven. I <laughs> just text Brandon like, they're cutting your heart out, by the way. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. They started to cut you up into little bits. Sorry. <laughs> it's not pretty. Yeah. There's a big old gash and like... You're not used to where monkey hearts yeah. are. But the anatomy is different. The anatomy is like, you thought the heart would be over there, and then it's over there. And you're like, oh. And then you try again <laughs> on the other side. I would definitely, <laughs> I hope nobody's watching, because I would want to do that in private. No, I think, no, we, I would, I think yeah. we would have turned around, and then, then we're, we wouldn't have watched it. <laughs> this person's very disappointed in himself, and he keeps apologizing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but what is your heart doing over there? <laughs> He's kind of blaming Yang. <laughs> okay, you remove but, his heart. Then I would take out my herbalism tools and I would just start to dry it and powder it okay. off to the side. You start setting up that process. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there is this tree. So make an arcana check for me. Me? Yeah. Oh, dear. Ten? Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, so... And Shava, are you, what are you doing right now? Honestly, I'd probably start taking out some pieces of fabric and using some of my best inks and writing out almost like a, like a tombstone for him. Okay. Nyx um, sits on your shoulder um, and you're not like in public, right? Are you around people? No, she's probably just doing this in the forest, like started yeah. up a campfire and mm-hmm. just took a piece of fabric and... And Darius, are you with, with um, Shama? Yeah, if she's working on something, I was like, that, this is the time that like that trophy would have been made. You're making the sticky I'm bun. I'm making the sticky bun. Okay. Um, Nyx, Nyx quietly um, starts talking to you. Okay. So, Yang's not able to be turned back on or you not could. able to I, I'm not even be. gonna do this in my head this time I'm just going to just yes yeah, say yeah. it right out loud he, I, I guess you could say he has ceased to function she nods I've known people who have ceased to function before yeah were, were they special to you I think so but, like I've told you, I don't remember most things. I just have this feeling that this has happened. I'm sorry. Shava would actually start tearing up a lot at that, and she'd actually just like turn to Nyx and like give her a little bit of like a head nookie with like one <laughs> finger. Because she. <laughs> not, not like hard, but just like a little like <laughs> pat of like a little thank pat. you pat. <laughs> She, she sits there solemnly with you. Um, Darius finishes the sticky bun. Thank you. It is metallic, but the way it is like constructed makes it look like a real sticky bun. It looks yummy and yummy. It does, it does look yummy and yummy. Yeah, I would like to imagine it, it still looks like it's steaming, but it never is. <laughs> you Just swear so there's shiny. steam above it. You <laughs> swear the light glints off of it. Um, <laughs> is it steaming? Do they bake it? Hey, Eddies, mm-hmm. what do you think this should say? And at the top you just see, I, I like super, I wrote out Yang's name mm. and then the rest of it is blank. It's almost like a banner. So mm. there's like the wooden dowel or stick that's holding up this piece of fabric and then there's a string attaching it so mm-hmm. it can hang off of something. You know better than anyone. If anyone should have this honor, it should be you. Okay. I would learn next to you guys or sneak up by you guys and say it should say he mattered he made a difference (laughs) okay she writes that down and then at the end she'll also write or like on the back side she'll flip it over and she'll write he really likes sticky buns (laughs) (laughs) okay and then you begin burying him yeah 
All right, you. it takes hours. I don't think any of you have magic to move Earth or anything, but you eventually dig a decent grave and then bury him and put up this little banner. Yeah, so in my mind, we stick his staff in the ground next to the tree mm -hmm. and then take a splinter of metal and actually hang it on the tree. Shava, you feel the sap itself and it hums with a slight energy hmm. as you plant it in the ground. Detect magic, I guess? <laughs> yeah. Reactivating your detect magic. This staff is magical and you knew it wasn't before. Yeah, he died. Guys? <laughs> um? This Yang staff. It wasn't magical before, right? I wouldn't know. Not that I remember. <clears throat> no. It was just the conduit. Well, mm -hmm. it's magical now. That I, is peculiar. I have identify. Can mm -hmm. I identify what kind of magic it you is? You can. All right. Yeah. You'll learn the surface level effects of, of this. Yeah. Of this staff. Do it. Okay. So you spend, I think it's an hour. It's a minute. Oh, it's a only minute. Mm -hmm. um, you spend a minute looking it over and tuning into its energy, sort of wavelength, and you get this surface level of idea of what it is. Um, you get this overwhelming sense of you know, like yang, like it has this energy about it. And um, this staff is able to grow a seed instantaneously once per day. Hmm. You can tell there's more, as with mm -hmm. all the magic items that I'll be doing, but it's not surface level. It appears this staff has the ability to create life, in a sense. It can make seeds that sprout and grow. I think we should plant one here. And he'll, I think Darius is just going to do it. He's just going to do whatever it takes to make a seed happen. He's going to take it, and then he's going to a dig a proper hole for it, and he's gonna bury it right on top of the Yang's grave. Are you finding like a nearby seed, like an acorn? Or I thought you said it makes a seed. No, no. it makes a seed grow. Oh, yeah. So you yes. have to have a seed of a plant that you want to grow. Yeah, I'll, whatever the tree that he was under. Oh. That I'll just take whatever seed okay. tree that was, and I'll plant it right on top of his grave. You grab it, grow a little bit. Yeah, you more. search around on the ground, and you find a few fallen seed pod type things, and mm -hmm. you plant one, and you grow it, and you are shocked as this gigantic tree just starts spinning and oh, spiraling. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like a full-size tree and it forms up into this tree larger than the, the tree that it was underneath. And, and the leaves all rustle and it slowly becomes more sedentary. Huh. Um, I'm going to... Oh, well, that's a thing you don't see every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to uh, go grab some, like, flowers. Your banner has been, like, knocked off yeah. to the side now. Oh, we'll hang it back up. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll rehang the banner. On the new one. New tree. Um, and then I'm going to go pick some flowers and lay them on the grave. Okay. as well. All right. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, when the time's appropriate and, and Yang's heart is dried out, I would go fly up really high and you guys would hear, it would be my native people's language. It sounds, it's owly, but it sounds like a bird song. Mm -hmm. And I'm just letting the ashes float away on the wind. I'm gonna have to find that sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll come back down with just a little bit and take out one of my tinier pouches and poured into a pouch just in case and I'll look at you and say someday just in case just in case this glittery heart dust <laughs> pours over the the environment scattering onto the trees below as Shaba stares down at this grave tree tree this tree, tree memories start flitting through her mind and she starts telling some stories mm -hmm. um you see Yang and Shava running down a street with fireworks in their hands. 
launching them off into the sky and Jay Wong running away from some people who look like they're not too pleased with them. Um, <laughs> you see them underneath a tree, eating some sticky buns and talking and laughing when Yang was staying at an orphanage in their town, even though he was way too old to be staying there. And she broke in with some fireworks, some like, <laughs> she broke in with basically some like those cracker, the ta -ta 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 type of fireworks. And then she started lighting them off in the orphanage and try to get the children to be more cheerful. And Yang started joining in. And at first the uh, orphanage patron was super mad at them, but eventually they all became really good friends. and. Then they decided to leave together, or they didn't leave together per se, but <laughs> Shava found out along the way that he had hidden away. <laughs> and the, the escort she had hired, Whispers, wasn't exactly too happy about it. <laughs> it was not. And at that point she's like, you know the story from there. Then she's going to sit down and kind of just close her eyes for a little bit and say some parting words. What? What? What are you looking at me? What are you looking at me for? Nothing. All right, <laughs> fine. Nothing. Because you're looking at me. <laughs> Seeing that long. Yang is a, a tree now. <laughs> His grave is a huge <laughs> That's how that tree. <laughs> yeah. um, whispers would fly as high up into the branches as he could. Mm -hmm. he'd, he'd perch up there and he, he'd kind of look down at everybody else and then kind of shuffle away and hide from everybody else and he'd pull out the sticky bun he gave him and he'd scrape off some of the moldy parts <laughs> and then he would eat it oh no and oh. he would whisper it's to the tree absolutely disgusting it's gross he knows that he chokes it down <laughs> just like Gah! <laughs> if you ever find a way to tell anyone I did that for you, I will hunt you on the winds and the afterlife, and I will devour you, small, apeling child. <laughs> okay, smirk, and fly back down to the group. Hello everyone, and I would say welcome back to the Dive Lounge, but unfortunately we're not in the Dive Lounge anymore. I've strapped a bunch of recording equipment to my gear, and I am in the Nine Circles of Hell. And I still haven't found Addy, so I'm going to read the ads for you. We're happy to be sponsored by TreasureTroveDice.com, where you can get beautiful show-stopping dice everything from beautiful marbled resin to metallic to all sorts of incredibly beautiful gemstone dice. I have my own set that I really, really like. And if you'd like to get 10% off, you can enter code DIVECLOUD, that's D-I-V-E-C-L-O-U-D, for 10% off. Go to treasuretrovedice.com today. And if you'd like me to read one of your reviews on our show, just go to iTunes and leave a review. I will read it and it will be awesome. Okay, well, I've managed to climb this tall mountain in uh, Avernus. I'm still in the first layer. And I think I see where I need to be heading. It's a giant castle made of black onyx stone. So, uh, till next time. Mm. <laughs> I think that's where we're gonna fast forward a little bit. Okay. So, do you guys go back to Aether to sleep or stay out here and camp? I'd probably head back to Aether. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably take a bath, a long bath. <laughs> I think Darius would actually go back to the Technomancer's College. He wouldn't be able to sleep. He would start working. He'd okay. start tinkering with whatever he could find. 
or dairy splits off. I think just group. for the night, like I would just split off from the group. I think like we can talk about like reconvening to discuss what our next move of action is to do. If we're gonna go back and finish the quest, or if we're gonna go yell at Izo, or if we're okay. So Darius goes back to the Technomancer's College, and you're you're greeted by Sam, mm-hmm. and she opens the door. Darius, you don't look so good. Are you okay? Do you need medical treatment? No, I oh, no, I forgot she's Southern. <laughs> I changed that. <laughs> Darius, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like you need some medical treatment. I'll be fine. I can you you let me in? Show me the desk, please. Yeah. Uh, we got into a little bit of trouble. I need I need some time to clear my thoughts. Okay, well I'm I'm here to help, and so is so is Archie. If you need him, um, yeah, follow me. All right, cool. She hurt. She hurt. Timber changed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she her, she's now she's like more rugged. <laughs> <laughs> She leads you to your desk, and uh, I think over this night you're going to finish whatever you're working on. All right, cool. Because you just are so focused. So make, yeah, make a check just okay. to make sure that you can get it done. Do you know what kind of check you want me to do? This is a tinkerer's check? All right. I don't, I don't know what. I'll just use my intelligence as a modifier. In- intelligence, uh, dexterity. There's no mechanics for this. No. Um, we could build it. We could we could say it right it's now. an intelligence plus. I mean, Dex would probably be it, the one the fifth. Intelligence the plus sleight of hand. Okay, I'm <laughs> and still Dex because I'm not or trained in sleight of hand. Tinkering. But <laughs> okay, uh, so that'd be it's a plus plus one in general because the minus one. Oh no, <laughs> it's only a five. Okay, so the item you create is gonna have. Uh, chance to like go bad like like there will be some kind of overcharge like problem with it okay so can you describe what you make uh yeah so i've got a new idea for another weapon but for this first one it is basically a lightning shotgun i I want it to be like like a sawed off double barrel shotgun that he can pull out and i want it to be almost like a breath weapon of Mm -hmm. of lightning that shoots out and surrounds in a cone of however area that you'd let me take cone lightning Mm -hmm. yeah and basically do the damage that a breath weapon would do sure yeah lightning that's totally reasonable to me Mm -hmm. um however yeah on a natural one it means that you have to take an action to get it back up and running okay yeah yeah so it's got it chance of critical failure that's fine that works for me um okay so shava and whispers you're going back I mean, to the the yeah. end probably I, mm-hmm. you've stated before that you don't sleep in the bed no I, I i would sit outside on the roof ledge or the window okay so you come i back. probably wouldn't get too far away from shava this time usually i would disappear in the night and find some place quieter mm-hmm. but i would stay close this time you come back and you see Swoops. Um, guarding. He's like, Swoops. And he's guarding the place with the sunglasses on <laughs> that I've decided are canon. <laughs> um, I drew him with sunglasses. <laughs> Good. Next to Shava is a haiku. Nice. Squaw. Squaw. Oh, sub whisper, Shava. What happened to like everybody else, whatever their names were? I would just. <laughs> Very uncharacteristically of whispers, I would hug Swoops. Mm-hmm. Swoops seems super confused. Yeah. He's just looking just like, what? <clears throat> Is this like part of your new religion? No, no, old friend. Not everybody made it home tonight. And I would just go oh. inside. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what he means by that, but by, by whispers... <laughs> I'm gonna go up to him and like kind of puff out my chest and take a real deep breath I'm, I'm gonna stare at him and be like you did a great job tonight I'm so proud of how well you guarded this I'm gonna pat him on the shoulder and I'm like, you deserve a break is this a deception check? <laughs> no. no and then I'm just gonna walk into the inn alright he's like ah oh, cool alright I'll uh, be out here guarding 
I am really yeah. good at deception and I haven't had to use it yet. So. I'm going to take a quick break and guard this place a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm on it. Oh, okay, you walk in boy. and Rory, they're standing there and they greet you. This is the in configuration right now. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> uh, thank you. We've had a little bit of a crazy night, so I think we're just going to head up. Um, our friend Yang, do you remember the monkey boy? Yes, we remember Yang. Uh, he, we lost him in a battle. They're quiet for a little bit. What, what happened? There was this creature um, with tentacles coming from its face and it killed him. They both look identically sad. <laughs> they come out from behind the desk that they're standing behind. Do you need a hug? They say in unison. Yeah. The one, the one on the right opens her arm, and the one on the left opens her arm. And... <laughs> yeah, Shava's just gonna go right into that. They, they hug around you, and it's park herself right in Hug Central. <laughs> it's like a perfectly mirrored hug on both sides. Oh, that's great! <laughs> it's a perfectly symmetrical hug. If you <laughs> whispers did not look too. <laughs> Whispers definitely was not a part of that hug. They kind of opened their arms to that. No. Um, Together as one. <laughs> so they pull back. If there's anything you need, let us know. Thank you. Okay. Um, you return to the room, and as you enter the room, the room's slightly larger than when you were here last time. There's another bed here. Did they upgrade us? <laughs> It's just peculiar, huh? <laughs> there's just more space and another. There's now two beds in this room. Okay. I'm gonna set all my gear down on one of the beds and just kind of. I like I said, she'd probably want to go take a long bath. It, it it would help her like feel more clean after that. So she she would do that, and then she'd probably go back and write some some things in her journal about Yang. There'd be like bath houses. Yep. And, yep. <laughs> She'd do that. Okay. You, Shava, I would watch her from a distance. Just, I, I, I would stay her. out of there. <laughs> yeah. See, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's yeah. no way for me to, to, yeah, I would perch on the buildings nearby just to make sure she was safe. Okay. Yeah, you're just ba- basically guarding her. I would even bring swoops along. Swoops. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, so nothing else happens this night. And eventually you both go to bed, whispers. I don't know if you sleep I do. In, in a bed. No, I yeah. perch. Okay. Um, and then the sun filters in through the window of your room, Shava. Darius, you... I think you had to work all through the night. Yeah. So you're going to take a point of exhaustion. That's okay. <laughs> okay. You should take a couple of days before the twins would be ready to install Andy's scythe into my weapon. Oh, to transmogrify? Yeah. It, it would take a day. You just have to leave your weapon with them. Okay. And, right. and his. And then basically it takes on the physical characteristics of one mm-hmm. and then the magical characteristics of the other. And they are superimposed yep. on top of each other. I will I will <laughs> transmortify it into mine. Okay. So, yeah. You leave it with them. You leave your uh, Griffin Claw mm-hmm. staff with them, and they get to work. Gosh, that's hard for you. We'll do it for free. No, no money required. Fire. That is very kind of you. I will return a favor someday, if you need. Not to lessen your gift to me. But to extend our friendship. They both bow their heads. It It should should be done done by by the end end of the day. Thank you. And you all reconvene. And then what are you off to go do? Shava would probably honestly not want to do some anything for a day or two. Do we just Mm -hmm. take some downtime? Go Um, shopping. Yeah, I was gonna say I was actually (laughs) shopping episode. um, The new idea that I wanna do is 
Darius, now seeing what the staff of Yang can do, he wants to research it. And he okay. wants to understand its magic. And he wants to make a new capture weapon with, uh, with like, plant magic. What do you mean capture weapon? Like, like, like a, almost like a, like a net gun. Okay, I um, want to like grow. I mean, like, or like something that, like some kind of like weapon that he can use to either like shoot like vines out of it, mm-hmm. or like shoot an area for vines to to grow. Like shoots like a layout thing, and like the channels magic and vines grow up around the okay. thing, or something cool like that. And he yeah. wants to study the magic of like nature that is in Yang's staff. So you're taking a few days all together, like mm-hmm. just yeah, to, do, so. to do some random things, yep. and yeah, you're not out adventuring or doing something. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whispers would want to visit Archie at some point in time with Darius sure. and show him the head of the creature. Oh, yeah. That um, Archie? Actually, or Isaac. Shavud Archie. wants to go see Archie Archibald? too. So uh, I trust Archie mentioned... more than I trust Isaac. Okay. Okay. You guys yeah, mentioned well, visiting I, Archie. Should also, go. And I'd be like, I'll be in my my workshop. Come find me when you go to meet him. Um, I probably want to go meet up with uh, my informant. Oh yes, you have uh, Jihan. Right. Jihan. Yeah. So you meet up with Jihan and she pulls out some furniture to sit down on. Heck yeah. Um and and starts talking to you. She has managed to get the deed to a, a small like little house section for her to run her operation out of. Um, and so this is a private place that she's sort of set up for meetings with you specifically and just to live in. Okay. Well, she, we don't have to go through the whole thing, but like TLDR, she'd want to just ask how things are going, meet with potential people that she had, that Jihan had been talking to Mm -hmm. and maybe convince them to join her. So she's just going to do like a little bit of a business day. Okay, yeah. So you do your business day. Get my syndicate. She she tells you that, yeah, your siblings will arrive. I think it was two weeks. Yes. Yeah, so that's ticking away. She reminds you it's been like another day, right? So day or two she's, she's keeping track of that. She's got a calendar and has organized all of this. And yeah, um, you set up a meeting with a prolific sort of the person who's taken up a lot of the seedier activity and just is organizing some of the, the things, a goblin named Frobs and Gobs. So you walk into the back of Wonderland, the bar, mm-hmm. and the door opens. What's the password? Just kidding, there's no password. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be my first guess. <laughs> oh, you're uh, pretty, pretty shifty. I like your type. Uh, Welcome, Shava Demaxic, to my humble establishment. You are Frogs McGobs, I assume? That's, yep, how you can pronounce it if you want. How do you pronounce it? Uh, no, it's not, it's not important. Come on in. <laughs> All right, I can go on in. Uh, he, he set up sort of a little table section. Can I get you a, a drink? Uh, sure. Uh, your recommendation. Oh, something real stiff. All right. He comes back with just pretty much, it's just a bunch of different alcohols poured in a glass. Nice. <laughs> like at random. Ooh. Oh. Spicy. <laughs> well, I'll make the con save on that one later. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take a sip. Okay. Make a constitution. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. You've come to talk business. What can I do for you? Well, I know that you've been taking up a majority of the operations while I've been out doing other business for Isil Barley. How are things going? Well, we've got a few different uh, startup crews kind of doing their thing. Uh, We started doing a few petty crime sort of things. Uh, amassing wealth right now. City's so new. A lot of, mm-hmm. a lot of touristy people coming through who don't know how to keep a, a close eye on their, on their coin purses. Mostly it's small stuff right now. But I hear that the uh, the Maxic family is into the big stuff. 
Yes, we will get there. I was planning on contacting my family and getting some shipments out of some of our wares out soon. And then we could start peddling some of that around. Sounds good to me. So, partners? Yeah. Insight check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Woo! Six. You get the sense that he is hard to read in general. Okay. He's not an easy character to ascertain his true intentions. All right. Keep doing good work for me and you shall be rewarded. I promise that. Sounds good. And then we'll cut forward to whatever Whispers is up to. Whispers might check in on the electric vampire. Sorry, I was just talking about there's any yeah, for yeah. Izu. <laughs> Who are you checking in with? Like the the, the local Archie. constabulary Archie. that had hired us originally to hunt it down to find out if there's any new developments in the case or if they're still at oh. where they were at with the whole thing. They, you gave them their report on the electric vampire mm -hmm. and they kind of didn't believe you and were very confused. That's because they don't. They, they marked it as a potential sighting and of Grezzo, but, um, and made a note about the, that he might have some form of electric capability, Yeah, but they, that's- Nothing else has happened? Nothing else has happened with that. Okay. No, nothing else. Do um, we know about the electric band? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we certainly would have told you the entire yeah. story in triple Multiple times. <laughs> yeah. So you all walk to the gates of Technomancy's College, and Sam opens the door for you. Darius, you're back. Uh, hey, man, I returned. Uh, could we get a meeting with Archie? We've got something quite possibly monumental to talk to him about. Technology kind of stuff? No, for once, actually. This is about his understanding of magics and monsters. All right. Uh, care to spill the beans early, or...? Uh... Um... <laughs> Is uh, this the kind of thing? I just pulled the head out of the yeah, bag. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, God. Well, Darius, oh, the head's Darius, out of the bag. Yeah, Darius would be thinking to, like how to what? explain it to her. And he, I, yeah, what I, would want, I want to know exactly what this is how and where to find the rest of them. I'll send you on up to, to Archie. Uh, yeah, go on, go on ahead. Uh, did, did you like cauterize it or anything? Or is it just like dripping? It's just just dri well, well it's it might like have drained green, already, but green icker. No, it'd be a soggy, yucky bag. Yeah, I've been carrying it around for a day or so. Uh -huh. You ride up this elevator with an arcane sigil on the floor, and it lifts up into a, an, a crowded study. The smell of old books and inks and other chemicals, and there's a potion bubbling off to the side on his desk and like sort of a mini Bunsen burner style, mm -hmm. like arcane device. Good to see you, Darius. I heard your friend died. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did, Archmage. Well, let's not talk about that right now. And just like he, just, <laughs> Darius is now really mad, and he would just be like, "You want to show him whispers? This is what killed him." And I just, I, no, I was gonna dump it out of his desk. I won't. I'll just pull it out of the bag. Pull it. He made an insensitive comment, but I make insensitive <laughs> comments all the time. So, <laughs> oh. Why? That's quite the specimen. And he actually stands up and he walks over with his hands behind his back. He leans forward to look at it. Peculiar. Um, hmm. I think I might need to study this one. May I keep it? Yes. I brought it only to show someone who is knowledgeable and hopes to find out more about these creatures. Well, it's an aberration. Yes. It's a, a creature from, oh, uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with the Dark Sea and whatnot. One, one of those types of characters takes the head. <laughs> this creature is from beyond the heavens? That's your, your astral sea, right? Is the Dark Sea you, space? You don't know? No, we mentioned it before. I know. To I'm me. All, I'm well aware. This is for, this is for dad, like for Mike and all yeah. the player understanding of what it is, no, not character. He mentioned that to Whispers, like, where did I hear that from the fairy? You heard it from the fairy. The fairy. Oh yeah, that's right. That yeah. the tower came from the Dark Sea. Mm -hmm. But he just assumed that we all knew what it was. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what exactly is the Dark Sea? 
Oh, I suppose you haven't heard of the Dark Sea. Well, I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. Well, let me explain. He sets the head down, kind of haphazardly up against some books. <laughs> he casts gentle repose over over it to keep it from rotting, and you see some of that drippiness mm-hmm. sort of subside. Story time. Take a seat. Mm-hmm. You're all so tense. I'll sit. <laughs> Optimistic. We don't have. Well, we do have a lot of time, but. We would like not to spend as much of it as we can. Well, I can skip all uh, to the important bits if they prefer. Just get it underway. <laughs> the Dark Sea is uh, the origin of our magic. We know very little about it, but it comes from another world. It's part of ours, but different. Uh, like a... I'm hesitant to say opposite, but, well, it's sort of a a superimposed reality on our own. Worcester's just got big, like, dinner plate eyes. He's like, that's, like, way past him. (laughs) It probably (laughs) doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No, not at all. But uh, as far as we know, this is where our magic and our energy is drawn from. Uh, Other than that, I mean, we're still researching. Darius, if you're interested in researching more of the Dark Sea, I could bring you on to that project. I am very interested and what this is. How did you discover it? How did you figure out that's what it was? Through various experimentation, we came up with uh, this this theory and tested it against different variables. It's more of a mathematical solution than anything. The Dark Sea is a term we've heard from beings like this fella over here, from themselves. That's what they call it. So you have encountered this being before? Not this being, no. Well, one other of these kinds. Other ones. We actually heard that from a fairy. She said that's where the tower came from. Yes, that is correct. I had a conversation with one not yet a month ago. He looks like he's puzzling something over in his head. Mm -hmm. You all seem like you're on a path. 